Oh, did the Rams get it? Yes, L.A. football. I don't know many coaches that would have the guts, the nerve to do this in the Super Bowl, but they did it, and it paid off. Well, if you were a head coach, you would have done it. I know you. You have that type of nerve, similar to Sean Payton in Super Bowl 44 oh, that's in right. New Orleans when he did it against Indianapolis. That's exactly right. By the way, I definitely would not have kicked. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Touchdown. have got it on cruise control and on that long run maybe the defense caught napping a little bit the concentration level may not have been there i agree with you on that one because those types of plays when they result like that they're almost like big bolts of lightning aren't they whoosh and off he goes and he is into the end zone again so get him some oxygen he scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot positions. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Brady now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. LaMarcus Joyner in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Brady to throw on second down. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. And it looks like this will likely be the last play before we hit the two-minute warning. Let's see if they can sneak one more good play in before the two-minute signal. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Super Bowl 51 after this. A reminder coming up at the intermission. We'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports halftime report. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Aaron Donald in there to drop him yet again. And he must be shell-shocked back there. That's now back to back to back sacks and it's fourth down he gets this one away and boy it's another boomer fair catch called for and taken right near the 30 yard line so possession goes over here on the punt and possession will switch hands first and ten Getting set to go again here on offense. Jared Goff trots back onto the field. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why. Looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. Down the numbers. There he goes. He's at the 30. Touchdown, L.A. Lance Kendricks. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Rams just continue to pour it on. So many times you think of these tight ends catching the ball already in the end zone. But today's tight end, they can run after the catch, too, to score. They're big, they're strong, but they're extremely athletic. And they can surprise the heck out of you when they get the ball in their hands and they're running away from the defense. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And now out come the Patriots. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. 
This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at it. And this one winds up being intercepted. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Second and ten, golf again. This will be caught at about the three. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Larry Fitzgerald with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Rams have got it on cruise control. And that there, that was just a fly route. There was no stop. He just went. Yeah, and it was beautiful to watch because you have to set it up as you go along. Everyone knows he's fast, so you play him for that. That's the number one thing you want to take away. But as you go through a game, sometimes you vary the speed in which you come off the line of scrimmage and maybe start a little bit slower, get him to stop his feet a little bit as a defensive back, and then explode and go, as we saw there. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, here's Brady. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a good game. It's a gain of 24 that time. And that's good for a New England first down. And now they call on Steven Goskowski. His career long, 57 yards, set just a year ago. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back. Now whistles blow and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second down and four. Watch right, watch right. Watch right, watch right. Here we go. To throw on second down is gone. And his throw here is incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Goff now to throw. He finds Quick. Touchdown, L.A. Brian Quick, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Rams just continue to pour it on. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. This is taken about seven yards deep. 
Legs still churning. Like a giant pinball. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. The wide out, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And it'll be second and ten. again here on second and ten into a double team and it's intercepted a great read and it's picked off and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line how oh, brandon this is a veteran quarterback back there he should know better than to make a throw like this this is definitely not his best ball and i think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand and the rams now coming out on the field and this is a spot late in the clock near midfield though maybe take a couple chances see if you get in field goal range you do that if you have trust. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On second down, here's Golf. And it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. Well, partner, this is where I need the color commentator. I'm not sure what to say about that one. Yeah, you and me both, my man. Let's just let that one go and move on. Deal. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. After the interception, here's Gong. His throw caught right around the six. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Larry Fitzgerald in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have got it on cruise control. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. That's fielded in the end zone. And for the third time now, this is going to wind up a safety. Unbelievable. So as the set designers rush out here to get us ready for the spectacle to come at intermission, these two teams will head to the locker room in Super Bowl 51 from Houston. As we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, let's roll the highlights. Rams opening up on offense. Austin's fouled on the quick pass, and he kept off the nine play drive with a TD. They strike first in the half. Rams with the ball midway through one. Here the pass would be completed into coverage, and that goes as a 39-yard touchdown. That takes the lead up to 18. Rams on offense, first quarter winding down. Here we get a quick pass and completion, and nobody can stop him on this long touchdown. The lead now at 24. Moving now to late in the first. Goff's going to complete the pass, and this long run goes for a touchdown. Rams go up by 30. We go to the second quarter. Gurley's going to bust out into the open space, and he'll go in for the score. The blowout is on. Now first and 10, Kendrick's the target here, and 70 yards later, he's going in for the score as they continue to dominate. Offense on the field now after the INT. Fitzgerald with the catch over the middle, and this play goes for a score. Rams with the commanding lead. 
inside the 50. Cobb's got the completion through the middle. And that goes as a 47-yard touchdown. The blowout rolls on. Rams have it at the 27. Larry Fitzgerald with the catch over the middle. And that is a house call. Rams way in front. So that'll do it from here 